let's talk about some unintended consequences that you might have for making your home more energy efficient. This is Carrie Schlegel with your Touch Base Tuesday real estate tip. Okay, have you seen the foam insulation that people can put in their attic or in their crawl space to encapsulate an area and make it more energy efficient? I myself have foam insulation in my attic. Well, when you do that, if you don't have a newer roof and your roof starts to fail, there's no way for the inspector to see underneath to the sheathing to see if there's actually leaks. They can only see visually what's on top and until you start to take it off and replace your roof, you really won't know the full extent of the damage from a roof issue or hail damage. Furthermore, in the crawl space, an unintended consequence of this is that should you need to have a termite treatment, the inspector that we had who only does spray termite treatments indicated that that's not really the right application because you can't effectively do that on a foundation that has the foam on the inside. So you really need to do a bait system in that situation. So it's really important to understand that when you're doing something to your house, it could have unintended consequences. It seems like a good idea, but all these systems have to work together and no one did anything wrong. It's just service providers really only have the opportunity to tell homeowners what's in their purview. They don't always know the unintended consequences or the other fields and professions that this may impact. And this is something you just find out down the road. And that's why we have inspections. If you're not learning something, you're not doing something in real estate. Every day you learn something new. You know anyone looking to buy, sell, or build in the Triangle or Lake Gaston areas? I'm your girl. 